Hi everyone, so let's now take a look at fiscal policy. So when it comes to fiscal policy, this is a crucial macroeconomic policy management tool used by governments across the world. Let's take a look. So it incorporates the use of government expenditure, taxation and borrowing to influence aggregate demand and correct market failures within an economy. Those market failures may of course consist of missing markets where you have pure public goods such as street lighting as well as quasi public goods such as health and education uh, further to that other areas of market failure could be uh, where there's taxation imposed on alcohol tobacco uh, as well as now sugar sugary drinks of course and further to that there is also a role it's argued to uh, support the redistribution of income uh, across economies and the government can use fiscal policy to do this. Right, so when it comes to actually looking at the fiscal budget, you must understand that this is tax revenue minus government expenditure. Okay, so tax revenue minus government expenditure. If tax revenues exceed government expenditure, then you will have a fiscal budget surplus. Meanwhile, if tax revenues are actually below the amount of government expenditure you will have a fiscal budget deficit as the UK economy has had for many years now. Now that's currently to the tune of uh, 80 billion pounds uh, so we could still run that deficit year after year of course that, that deficit accumulates into a total uh, national debt figure and for the UK economy, this is uh, at £1.7 trillion. Uh, this is about 85 86% of the size of uh, our economy, the size of uh, GDP there, okay? So quite a substantial uh, national debt there. Okay, let's now have a quick look at the, uh, the different types of taxation that can be used. Firstly, there's uh, direct taxation. Uh, now, this is taxation placed upon incomes, of course, uh, or in the case of companies and corporations, profit, it's placed on their profits, not on their revenue, but on their final profit levels. Uh, okay, so examples here, of course, would include income tax, national insurance contributions, which, by the way, are much the same thing, uh, as well as uh, corporation tax, of course. Then we've got indirect taxation. So this is taxation on goods and services. Uh, so examples here, of course, would uh, foremostly include VAT, that value-added tax set at 20% uh, on non-essential items. Uh, so yes, uh, there's that, but there's also other, other taxation imposed on, uh, say, for instance, road tax. Then there's uh, added taxes to uh, petrol, tobacco we mentioned, as well as alcohol, uh, sugary drinks, etc. Uh, okay, so types of taxation is another important concept to be aware of. Uh, and in the UK, we run a progressive taxation system where uh, the rate of taxation increases uh, depending upon how much income you earn. So the tax rate increases as the income rises, as that taxable income rises. So for instance, this means the first £11,000 or so of your income is actually not taxed at all. Uh, but thereafter, of course, tax rates will increase. So up to about £35,000, £36,000, you pay a uh, 20% rate. Thereafter, 40% on additional earnings above that amount. Uh, and then beyond £150,000, you pay 45%. So each time it's taking a bigger chunk of uh, the actual uh, income as that income rises. Okay, now there's also regressive taxation as well. Uh, and a regressive form of taxation is where the tax rate decreases, of course, where the income rises. Uh, now, these uh, indirect taxes are often cited as an example of VAT, uh, as an example of, sorry, uh, regressive taxation. Why is that the case? Well, if you're spending 20% uh, extra on uh, particular goods, non-essential goods and items that you need to purchase as someone from a low-income household, that additional 20% that's added will represent a far higher proportion 
proportion of your overall disposable income. Okay, so that's a useful point to bear in mind. Uh, there's also a flat rate of taxation, and a flat rate of taxation is just that. It stays constant, say perhaps at 10% for all income groups. Okay, uh, and then we must understand also the, the concept of the marginal rate of taxation. Uh, okay, and we mentioned that 45% top band of uh, income tax within the UK. Uh, when it comes to that top band, that is a marginal rate of tax on earnings above £150,000. So on that first £150,000, well, you, you're pretty much going to pay 40% on that. But any earnings beyond that, let's say you earn £155,000, that extra £5,000 will be taxed at 45%. Okay, so the marginal rate of tax is the amount of tax paid on an additional pound of income. Okay, so important concepts here. It's also worth bearing in mind there are wealth taxes as well. So wealth taxes uh, may uh, be best exemplified perhaps by uh, stamp duty. Uh, sorry, inheritance tax, inheritance tax there uh, as a, a foremost example there. Okay, um, right, super stuff. So uh, let's now have a look at uh, types of government expenditure. Uh, when it comes to types of government expenditure, well, we've looked at these briefly before, and we've seen that there's current expenditure, which is, of course, is year-on-year uh, -year payments that must be met uh, to provide public services. Then there is capital expenditure, which is longer-term uh, investment commitments in areas such as infrastructure, as well as uh, building hospitals and uh, roads and uh, uh, schools etc. Uh, then there's of course transfer payments. Transfer payments of course uh, includes welfare and uh, pension payments as uh, typical examples there where there is a transfer of incomes taking place and it's usually from those in work for, to uh, support those who are either worse off uh, so earn less or perhaps are unemployed or retired as we can see there. Okay, so there is a transfer of those earnings there. Uh, and then finally, there's also debt interest. And if you just think about the actual uh, level of UK national debt here, uh, then you can see the actual debt uh, interest payments will also be quite significant for the UK economy, given the sheer size of our national debt. Right, okay guys, we'll leave that there. Thanks a lot.